Hey YouTube, uh, Jack here. A little progress update on the vertical farm. As you can see, everything's doing really well. Um, this is one of those crops that, you know, maybe it gets used differently in a hydro system than it's intended. This is called Celtus. And this is 26 days old this morning from seed. And you can see the size of that. Um, it's actually a pretty good lettuce, but you're, what you're really supposed to be getting out of is a stalk that comes up the center and you eat the stalk, it's kind of like a, they call it asparagus lettuce and some other things. And there's no evidence of a stalk forming. And when I planted this in the ground, by the time it's this size anyway, it's it's got quite a stalk on it. Here's another example of something that maybe gets used a little differently. This is Yod Fa, known as Chinese broccoli. It also puts up shoots that look like kind of an open broccoli, um, but you can eat the whole thing. But this is like the best tasting kale I've ever had. And I'm not actually a huge kale fan, but this really is. This is like, the, and it grow. This is also uh, 26 days from seed. So both of those are plenty big enough to eat at this point. And if you even give them a little bit longer, they're going to have a lot more, you know, biomass. Some other stuff here. Some chard. The chard is not growing as fast once transplanted uh, out here. I guess it doesn't like the cold. The purple bok choy is just awesome. Your color would be better, I guess, if you uh, weren't looking at it under these lights let me kind of look at that that's 26 days from seed guys now i think they can get a little that's and that's two <laughs> two seeds in that one um that can get a little bigger and uh what have you but there's nothing wrong with maybe i might take this one and that other one and eat them now i gotta start eating a bunch of this stuff i gotta take this all down to uh belton texas for the mother earth news fair uh, I got to disassemble this thing and take it out. There's just no way I can take all these plants uh, without killing most of them. I'm going to take some plants that are something in it for interest, but uh, another one, 26 days from seed. This is uh, pink Mizuna. But what I really wanted to show you today, because I want to gloat a little bit over some of y'all, I really do. So when I built this, I put that shallow flood tray in up there, and I said, I'm going to grow microgreens in there, and I'm going to grow them on jute twine. And I'm going to run that as a flood and drain. And I set this flood and drain up for those who didn't see it before. Uh, to me, this was new. It's something people have been doing a long time. I just didn't know. I've always used a siphon for flood and drain. But basically, I have a delivery pipe and an overflow pipe. The overflow pipe sets the level of the, the fluid. And when the pump kicks off, it runs for 15 minutes and shuts off for 45. Yes, I said 15, 45. Because uh, people said when I was going to do that four times a day, it was too much for the microgreens. Hold your horses. Uh, but anyway, fluid comes in on this side overflows this side and when the pump kicks off it just dumps back out the input pipe and it just drains it all the way down to the bottom so there's nothing left you can see this tray's made for that this is a little bit lower than the rest of the tray so we get a complete drain well people said that's gonna be too much water you can see how that works it's these nice lines and right there that's where the water comes in it'll probably shoot me in the face now uh water comes in here overflows here this sets the height well, what everybody said is if you do that, you're going to be overwatering your microgreens. And they're going to die. That's borage. That's some of the best looking borage I've ever grown as a microgreen. It tastes fantastic. The uh, sunflower, I should have did more of this so I had something to take down to Belton because this stuff's going to be grown too big by then. Uh, sunflower's just starting to uh, come up and grow out, so that's been in there only one day now. This is broccoli. Yeah, it's uh, it's really suffering. Yeah, and I'm running, it's running 24 cycles a day, 15 on, 45 off. It just ran, that's why it's draining. That's broccoli. I don't see anything wrong with it. It tastes damn good. Now, I'm gonna tell you, I understand why people were saying that. The only one that has a little bit of unevenness to it, and I'm not quite totally thrilled with it, this is called Garden Crest. It tastes a lot like watercress, but it's not watercress. It's garden crest. Um, I've never even really seen anybody grow this before. I'm sure people do. It just seemed like a good microgreen to grow. And I didn't know how much to seed it. And I think I seeded a little light. So I use, I think I used the same weight that you would use for broccoli. And I think maybe, you know, that's like seven, if I remember off the top of my head, seven tenths per a, of an ounce for a 1020. So, you know, 3.5 tenths of an ounce, um, which I just converted to grams is the easiest way to go. Um, maybe I need to be more like at one ounce to a 1020, so half ounce to a half flat. I don't know. 
but you can see some spots there. But it's not dampening off or anything like that that people usually get. Now, I'm going to tell you why I think this works. Y'all can tell me why it doesn't work, even though you're sitting here looking at the fact that it works. The reason people don't want to overwater microgreens is you need airflow. And if you don't get airflow, you get mildew and damping off and mold and all that stuff. Well, if you understand the principle of flood and drain and what makes it work so good in the first place, if you're not using soil, and I'm not, flood and drain is going to get you more uh, oxygen every time it runs, not less. Because what happens is that water level fills up, right? And what that does is it takes all the stale air that's in there because, you know, when you fill something up with air and if the air goes out when it has liquid in it, right? Bubbles float. So it forces all the stale air out. Then what happens when the water drops? Well, it pulls fresh air in. That's, that is how flood and drain works. And that's why I was thinking about this. I was coming up with all different ways to deal with it, but I wanted to keep it automated. And guess what I decided? Just to ignore all of y'all. I don't mean to be mean, but I just decided to hell with it. I'm going to ignore everybody. And I'm going to do it. I, I'm going to do it this way. This is as bad as it could possibly be. Again, every hour, this runs for 15 minutes. It fills up to about right there on these trays, just enough to wet the bottom really good. And then for 45 minutes, it remains empty like this. And then this overflows down to here and down to there, and that's it. And guys, I'm just going to say it. It works. Oh, there it goes. Just kicked in, of course, as soon as I get down. So if y'all ain't seen it before, there you go. So that should really kind of give you the principle of how it works right there. So as you can see, it's going to take a while before it it builds up. It takes about a minute and a half, so we'll, we won't wait that long. But you can see it already starting to flow through the channels and already starting to irrigate. And I know it's too, I mean, you guys, basically I could hear you screaming through the keyboard, it's too much, it's too much, you can't do it that much. And, you, and I was talking about 25% of what it's getting now. I don't know. I don't see nothing wrong with that. <laughs> and it damn sure tastes good. If you, if you have never done borage microgreens, you need to try it. It's like an explosion of cucumber flavor. It's just one of the coolest things. I learned about it from John Dowie. Broccoli looks good. Crest looks good. There we're just starting to overflow. So you can see how much we're just touching the bottom of all those. And when it cuts off, it'll just go right back down the hole it's coming out of now. It'll drain right back down into the sump. So that'll do her. I don't mean to say nanner, 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 but uh, yeah, I do nanner, nanner, nanner. Y'all wrong. <laughs> I'll catch you guys later.